I have a new video for you guys because the Free Britney movement is getting political. I mean, it's been political from the jump for me, but now it really is because two congressmen have sent a letter to the House Judiciary Committee and they are asking Representative Jerry Nadler to consider reviewing conservatorships and the case with Britney Spears because they feel like it's going against due process. I totally agree with them and I'm really excited to see some representation in DC fighting for Britney. So today we're going to walk through exactly what's going on and what's next. So let's get into it. So we talk a lot about Free Britney on my channel because she has been stuck in a conservatorship for 13 years and it's about time she gets her life back. I'm wearing a little different outfit today because this video is getting political and professional. Actually, since the news broke yesterday, I've gotten so many emails and actually some people who work on congressional teams have reached out to me. Honestly, this stuff is so over my head, but I am extremely excited to be talking to these people and to inform you guys about what going on with the Free Britney movement in DC. These letters were sent to Jerry Nadler by Matt Gates and Jim Jordan. They are asking him to review what's going on with Britney and consider reviewing the conservatorship process in their committee. This is a huge win for conservatorship rights because you guys know the conservatorship system is so messed up. There are so many people out here taking advantage of others and just stealing their money and their assets. And there needs to be laws to protect these people because if it could happen to Britney Spears, it could happen to you or someone you know or anyone really. But I wanna review some footage from TMZ before we get into the letter and show you what Representative Matt Gates is talking about. So this footage was taken yesterday in DC by TMZ, which I always thought TMZ was just like on the West Coast, but whatever. And this guy, Matt Gates, is actually a congressman from Florida. He is kind of a uh, controversial, and I don't really want to focus on that part in this video, like Jeb Jordan and uh, Matt Gates and their relationship with Donald Trump and like everything like that, because I feel like that's not important because this is a bipartisan issue and we all can get behind it because we all believe that Britney deserves freedom. I'm going to be pausing this clip from DMZ because DMZ is like, they don't like sharing their footage, but if you want to go check check it out and check the unedited version because I did edit this clip, then go check out the link in my description. But let's go ahead and watch it and then we'll talk about the letter and then we'll talk about how Britney's father has already responded to this situation. Look, Britney was the most powerful, popular pop star in the world and this conservatorship process has her where she can't vote, can't get married, can't work fairly. And if it can happen to Britney Spears, it can happen to anyone. So that's right. It can happen to anyone. And I hope this guy isn't just trying to get like clout off the situation and like attention and media coverage, because that's something I considered. But I also just like think about the fact that he did write this letter. He did send it to Jerry Nadler. And it seems like he is fully prepared to help fight for Britney. And I'm all about it. So the power of Congress is not just to vote on stuff. It's our power to convene around serious issues. And this issue of conservatorship is critical to so many people across the country. Of course I watched the Britney documentary. I, I definitely agree with him. I feel like it's an issue that applies to so many others because even like me covering the Free Britney movement, I've had a, multiple people reach out to me about their own conservatorship stories and it's a serious issue and I'm glad that he recognizes that Congress should just do their job and do what the people want and if the people want to free Britney, it's time for the government to free her. I really was triggered by what I saw as a violation of due process and I think that we ought to hear directly from Britney Spears. I think we can oh, call her that. in to the house. Wait, wait, he wants to hear directly from Britney Spears. Hold up, I need to back that up because could you imagine if Britney came to Congress to testify? We can oh, call her that. in to the House Judiciary that. Committee with no lawyers, with no conservators, and we can hear directly from her. And look, hey, she wouldn't be the first celebrity that used her fame to do good. Um, okay, well, I definitely feel like that would be an interesting situation. I feel like Britney wouldn't want to do that, like, with all of these cameras and all these people, like, watching her, like, in, in Congress, like, sharing what's happened to her. But also, it could be a safe space. And to know the U.S. government is going to protect you and they have your back, I mean, that's an awesome feeling. And I really, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to make of that part. We all know how Kim Kardashian got famous. And she got a bunch of people, you know, out of... Uh, uh, 
very confined circumstance. So if I that was kind of a, like a crabby comment from him. He was like, you all know how Kim Kardashian got famous and she was able to help a bunch of people out of bad situations, which that part's true, but like you don't need to like highlight the part about her video that came out. Folks want to free Britney, they need to contact Chairman Jerry Nadler and they need to tell him. Period. Okay, actually, I want to take a break real quick and inform you guys on something. I believe this art is from Britney Advocate, so shout out to her. Um, sorry if it's not, but I'm just trying to give credit. Anyways, this is a little, little poster thing that we have put together. Well, the free Britney I've been putting together. There's honestly a ton out there, and it's pretty much just like um, a notice that you guys can call Jerry Nadler, the guy that is head of the House Judiciary Committee, and you can ask him to review this situation and bring it to the floor. Here is a number right here, guys. You guys can go and call them. I will link below a tweet that has a script that you guys can use because I get really bad anxiety calling people on the phone. So I will give you guys that script and we can ask this man. Literally, there is someone we can go to, which is very rare in a lot of these situations, and we can ask him to do his job. Well, not do his job. I mean, I'm sure he's doing his job, but he can do his job really well for us and free Brittany and at least consider the situation because there's so much more than just like the Brittany. I mean, I know that it's the free Brittany movement and that's why we're all here, but like, again, conservatorships need to be reassessed and reevaluated and the laws need to be rewritten. But let's go ahead and finish this clip with Mr. Matt Gates. Tell him that we need to hold this hearing. Brittany can't vote. She can't drive. She can't get married to the person she chooses. That's right, she can't get married. And you know, Sam actually has been very vocal on uh, on different magazines and media outlets with the fact that he wants to take his relationship with Britney to the next level. So are they going to try to get married? Are they going to try to have kids? I have no idea. Honestly, guys, I have some tea when it comes to Sam because supposedly Sam has been lying about his age. I don't really like, I don't even want to get into it right now, but someone like found a bunch of files about his personal information, which I would never release. But some of the information there isn't lining up and okay gosh i'm gonna get myself in trouble and her circumstance is all too common for people around the country who do not get their due process when they're in these conservatorships so i think britney spears would be a perfect way to bring attention to an issue that needs review by the house judiciary i actually i actually agree and i feel like even though this does seem a little bit clout seeking like on his end i do feel like it's a major issue and i'm fully ready to uh work with the united states government to free britney but but let's go ahead and take a closer look at this letter that he sent to Jerry Nadler. So pretty much he is asking this man, because again this man is the head of the committee of judiciary in the house, if he can review what's going on here. I'm going to skip around in this letter, but right here it reads, In recent years there has been growing public concern about the use of conservatorships to effectively deprive individuals of personal freedoms at the behest of others through manipulation of the courts. Period. A project funded by the U.S. Department of Justice to examine conservator exploitation found that financial exploitation by conservators often goes unchecked by courts. And there is a dire need for guardianship and conservatorship reform, guys. You can't make this up. They talk a little bit more about why conservatorships are bad, and then at the very end of this page, they refer to Britney Spears as one of those striking cases about conservatorships. I mean, if you Google conservatorships right now, Britney Spears' face will pop up. On the second page, they go into more detail about Britney and how she was put into a conservatorship back in 2008 when she was 26 years old by her father. The facts and the circumstances given rise to this arrangement remain in dispute, but involve questionable motives and legal tactics by her father and now conservator Jamie Spears. This is when it gets intense. In court appearances in August and November of 2020, Miss Spears' attorney represented to the court that Miss Spears is strongly opposed to having her father as a conservator, that she was afraid of her father and that she would not again perform publicly long so this arrangement persisted. Wow. Like, I'm glad he's, like, bringing this all up and he's got the receipts. Despite these pleas, Mr. Spears remains conservator of her estate. Despite Mr. Spears claiming to want nothing more than to see Miss Spears not need a conservatorship through his attorney. They also share the famous quote from his attorney from the Framing Britney documentary that says, Of the cases I've been involved in, I have not seen a conservatory who has successfully terminated a conservatorship, which is so haunting, but really, I believe 
believe that Britney will be the first one. In the second to last paragraph, they talk about another conservatorship case, which is very serious, and then they end the letter by saying, given the constitutional freedoms at stake and the opaqueness of these arrangements, it is incumbent upon our committee to convene a hearing to examine whether Americans are trapped in unjustly conservatorships. We look forward from hearing from you on this important issue. Honestly, kudos or snaps or whatever claps to those uh, congressmen because they are presenting a very serious issue to the court and there's nothing but respect for them for doing that. But Britney's father has responded to the situation and he's got some things to say to these congressmen because he believes they are not right. A new TMZ article claims that Matt Gates and Jim Jordan have it all wrong when it comes to Britney Spears' conservatorship. Jamie's attorney, Vivian Thorin, says since the beginning, the conservatorship has been a system of checks and balances with annual accountings, reviews, and expert opinions. Not only that, Thorin tells us that Britney and her own legal team have been a part of the decisions involving the conservatorship for years. Jamie's lawyer continued, and she says that James Spears has diligently and professionally carried out his duties as one of Britney's conservators, and his love for his daughter and dedication to protecting her is clearly apparent to the court. How is that apparent to the court when she has clearly told her lawyer that she doesn't feel safe around her father and she wants him gone, yet he refuses to leave and he keeps her trapped? I just, I'm calling BS and I am ready to go to Congress and talk about this because I feel like it's an extremely important issue and Vivian can't wipe away this one because even that explanation right there they're like, girl, that was it? After that letter from Congress, that's all she had to say. I mean, I would have fired her on spot if she was my lawyer, but obviously uh, James really likes her because she's been there since the beginning of the conservatorship. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I know that this is very like controversial because... Um, like the congressmen are very like aligned with Trump. And honestly, that part really just doesn't matter to me as long as they are focused on this particular issue. And I would assume that both like political parties and even the ones in between would come together and fight for Britney's freedom because that's only what's right. So leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think about this whole situation. I also do wanna mention I have my merch for sale on Amazon if you guys wanna check it out and support it. No pressure at all, but I recently did that. And at the end of my videos, I do open P.O. box packages. This one is from John Paparin, Paparinian, Paparin, and he is in New Jersey. Um, I actually got this like, oh gosh, I got this like 13 days ago, so I'm sorry that I'm opening it so late, John, but let's go ahead and see what is in here because I'm kind of, what is this? I'm kind of scared. Um, what is this? Oh no, I feel like this is part of something else then, right? Wait, it doesn't even have like a, um, what is this? I don't know what this is. It's just like, um, is it, what is this? I don't, I really don't know what this is. And there's no like explanation or anything at all. Does anyone know what this is? Let me go see if there's another package from John. Maybe it's like part of something or I don't know. I don't want to like, what is this? Honestly, John, I have no idea what this is. And, um, I, I'm actually not too sure, but I'm, maybe I'll go ask my boyfriend. I'm not, too, is it a bracelet? Like, why is it like, what is this? <gasps> is it a bracelet? Oh my gosh, is it like a survival bracelet? Because it kind of like looks like it's a bracelet size. This is actually like really interesting. Why is this part so sharp? I'm not too sure what this is. I'm kind of scared. Like if I put it on, will I be able to get it off? I need to kind of like ask my boyfriend what this is. Okay, my boyfriend was able to explain it to me and I'm so hyped now. So it's actually a bracelet and it's like a hiking bracelet and it's got like a little like knife blade thing here and then it's got a compass on it as well. And this part, I had no idea. It has a whistle. <laughs> Wow, so it's like I can use this if I'm like, I don't know, if I'm trying to like be safe or something or like survive in the wilderness. So I love this so much, John. Thank you. I like I really had no idea what it was in the beginning, but this is something I've never seen before and I love that because I just would have never like known that something like this existed and I think I have it on wrong. But I love this. Thank you so much. I actually was just thinking about going camping soon and this would be perfect on my camping trip and just like anytime I take a hike or anything in general because a little bit of safety, a little bit of a uh, blade right there. So thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to send me anything to my PO box, my address is listed below. No pressure at all. I feel like there's something else I was going to say about this. Like what was I going to say? Um, oh, I can whistle though like myself. I don't think I've ever whistled on camera. So <laughs> wait, like... <clears throat> <laughs> do you hear that? I can even do the iPhone noise. 
So um, if you guys ever want to hear me whistle a bunch, I totally can on my second channel or something, but this video is going on too long. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.